Um, I don't know that it comes down to winning. Um, I think it comes down to what the opportunities are. You know, he's made no secret that he he want he wants at some point to play for his hometown team. Um, he did not ask to be traded to Cleveland. And so he's there and uh, he's certainly trying to make the most of it. Um, I think from a Knicks perspective, when you look at, I mean, they, of course, the Knicks want another star. Do they want a player who's about the same size as Jalen Brunson and who does some of the similar things, even if, if Donovan's a better player, fine, or if he's a better offensive player, fine. Um, but they're similar players. Do you want, if you're the Knicks, do you want both of them and what they cost in your backcourt uh, instead of the sort of, you know, the, the yin and yang of a Brunson and a Barrett who we've talked about all day? Um, so I'm, I'm not sure. So, so if the Knicks uh, have sort of made their decisions in the backcourt and, and, and aren't chasing another smaller guard, um, then you're Donovan and you re recognize that you have a good situation in Cleveland and, and the Cavs can pay him more money than anybody. And, you know, shorter term deals are of course available and to see what happens a couple years down the road in New York, if you want to go that route. Um, and then also stars have no problem these days um, getting a new contract and then asking for a trade shortly after that. So all the options are open. Um, I just think, that it's that the most important thing for Donovan when it comes to the decision he makes is is what the opportunity is.